Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Poo and welcome to day 18 of A Year of Change. Um, today I decided to do, uh, we're sort of the middle of the week, I'm going to do another sort of snack alternative thing. Um, you can probably guess what it is, judging by the title. So, sort of hide things off, or I won't hide things off, we'll just bring it out here. Um, this is mainly now, we did sort of uh, like a sugary one with the dates last week. Um, so this one I'm going to sort of focus on those of you that have the salt craving. I'm in there with you. So um, I'm going to try to compare this to uh, potato chips because generally when we think of a salty snack, it's usually that's sort of a go-to. So we'll sort of compare those two. Um, basically all this is is sort of another alternative to that so that you can get the salt that you're craving without the huge amount of calories that are in there. And that is with dill pickles. Um, now, if you don't like the taste of dill pickles, then sorry, this probably isn't for you. But um, as far as just sort of a snack food goes, for me anyway, it does alleviate that salt craving because they're very, very salty. Now, the ones I get, um, actually, before you say that, I have noticed that I've sort of been trying to avoid um, brand names for some reason. Aside from Twinkies, which I say all the time. Um, and I'm not really sure why. So, the ones that I get are the uh, Vlasic Kosher Dale Pickles. They're by far the absolute best that are out there. And although they say, hey, there's no MSG, it doesn't really matter. There's <laughs> um, There are some negatives to it. But since we're, right now we're just concentrating on uh, the calories, then this is a really good alternative instead of, you know, chips or, you know, crackers or something like that. So, just to sort of compare, um, just the standard chip bag size, like the, not the little ones, but the, I guess the large size, not the huge family size ones, but the big bags of chips. We'll compare that to um, a handful of pickles. So, like four pickles. Um, and I know that doesn't seem like a lot in comparison, but, you know, there are some of us, myself included, that have eaten a huge bag of potato chips all by themselves. Um, and although there's going to be, you know, you can do a lot, you can eat a lot more pickles, um, we're just doing four because that is the same weight, or roughly the same weight as a bag of chips. It's around 275 grams, somewhere around there. So, um, starting out with the calories, um, one of those huge ba big bags of potato chips runs about 1,200 calories. So that's a huge portion, if not all, of your calories for the day. The same weight in pickles has 40 calories. So, I mean, you can eat almost an entire jar of pickles and you may not even break 100. Each pickle only has about 10 calories to it. So it's a really good trade-off. Um, it does fill you up. Um, there's plenty of salt in it, so you'll get that salt craving taken care of. And you're avoiding a lot of the grease and everything else that's with it. <clears throat> Now, here's the bad part. Um, sodium. We've all heard about how bad, bad, how bad sodium is. Um, and it's from everything that you can find there is true. We should be eating around, I think, 2,000, 2,500, somewhere in that vicinity, uh, milligrams per day for people. Um, bag of chips, oddly enough, doesn't really have a lot of sodium in it. Um... It's got, I think, less than 20 milligrams. But the same weight in pickles has about 100 times as much. I'm not exaggerating. It has 100 times as much. It's around, I think, 400 milligrams per pickle, somewhere around that vicinity, which is not good. It's very, very bad for you. Um, I mean, you can try the low-sodium ones, but that sort of defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do. And not that I'm trying to give you advice to... You know, give yourself heart disease and, you know, kidney failure and everything else. But it's, again, one of those things that you need to sort of trade off calories for sodium. And right now, I mean, a lot of us are probably eating a lot, much more sodium than we should anyway. Um, but, you know, that's still below what you ne need for the day. So it's not like you're doubling or tripling the amount. Um I guess, just don't sit and eat three or four jars of it, like you would with anything, like 
icing. So um, there is a trade-off, again, with this. Um, same thing with the dates, where there's a lot of sugar in it. With this, there's a lot of sodium. And it is really, really bad. Um, but when you're looking at the sheer number of calories that go into it, you would have to eat, let me think, you have to eat almost 12 jars of pickles to get the same number of calories as one bag of chips. So it sort of gives you the idea. I know that the serving in chips says something like 15 chips, but who the hell eats just 15 chips? Like, just, it, I don't know anyone that would. Um, so, again, it's just to sort of get that salt craving taken care of without adding in the fat and all the other stuff. And plus with potatoes, there's a lot of starch. Um, and there are some people that actually are looking at um, how, you know, like sugar is supposed to rot your teeth and stuff like that. Well, there's some people that also say that sugar is not as bad. Um, I mean, it's still bad, but your saliva does sort of wash everything away, but starch tends to stick around. So it can, might actually be worse for your teeth. That's not confirmed or anything. That's just something I read or heard or something. Um, but anyway, the uh, just again, weighing the pros and cons of both, um, sort of adding the negative of the sodium to the positive of the calories. Plus, technically, this counts as one of your vegetables for the day. So same as the dates, that counts as a fruit. A pickle counts as a vegetable. Because um, it's essentially just a, you know, a cucumber in brine. So, you know, if you're trying to sort of get yourself started on eating more vegetables and stuff like that, might as well start with a pickle. Because it counts. Um, I mean, a lot of the nutrients and the vitamins and stuff like that, they sort of get, sometimes will get drained out when uh, they're pickling them, depending on how they prepare them. I'm not sure how Vlasic does it, but they just do a really good job of it. Um, but there is one thing that they are very high in, and it's vitamin K. This is something that you don't need a lot of anyway. It's just one of those odd things that um, there's a recommended daily intake, and it's not even milligrams. It's one step below. It's micrograms. So um, four pickles, if you were to eat four pickles, which, you know, fair good-sized pickles, you would have the same amount of vitamin K as you would from a whole cup of raw spinach or a cup of broccoli. So it's, again, one of those things that it's not vitamin C or vitamin A or one of the really, really important ones, um, but it is something that we, we use. And it helps with coagulation. Like if you're injured, it helps blood clotting, that sort of thing. So um, it's a minor vitamin, I suppose, but it's a vitamin nonetheless, and it counts. So um, that's pretty much it, I guess, for this one. Uh, it's going to be another short one today. Sorry about that. But... Um, I, I'm thinking I might do one of these a week just to sort of, you know, offer some alternatives for those of you out there that have those sugar cravings or, in this case, salt, things like that. Um, next week I have another one which sort of covers a sugary sour craving. I know sour is a bit different. Um, I really enjoy sour foods and the sort of the pickles sort of go along with that as well. Um, but there's salty sour and sweet sour. So... Um, another thing too, I mean, that you may have noticed, and that's this, uh, this side or the, the other side, one of the two keeps drooping down and it, it's completely unrelated to the topic, but it drives me nuts every time I'm doing my editing and I'm, do, I'm watching this and I've tried and I can't do anything about it. It won't, it won't fix itself. So I'll sit here and I'll tug and yank and poke and prod and shuffle and we're used to it anyway. We're used to sort of picking at ourselves all day and readjusting and not... <laughs> Not readjusting, um, but just sort of picking and prodding and making sure that we're presentable. Just every little bit helps. Um, so for those of you that have been sitting there slowly yelling at your screen, slowly, yes, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I'm in quietly yelling at your screen, which makes no sense either, um, about the drooping collar thing, which I think, yes, it's doing it again. There we go. Um, I don't know what's causing it. I don't know, and I can't fix it, and I'm sorry. So that's been addressed. It's going to happen. Um, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better because hopefully as we're losing weight, um, the clothes aren't going to quite fit as well. And, you know, 
but I'll, I'll get a new Poo shirt. It'll be fine. So that is it for this video. Um, hopefully it helps you out a little bit. Um, again, if you're one of those people that don't like the taste of dill or just not a big fan of pickles or anything, um, keep watching. Eventually we'll hit on something that will be able to get that salt that you want, uh, beef jerky or something like that. Um, and something that you're going to enjoy as well. And hopefully something that won't kill you from the sodium. Like this one might. Um, but that's it. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me. In the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.